So it's no secret that Austin and Landon McBroom are literally trying to copy Logan and Jake Paul from social media influencers turned pro boxers. The only problem is Logan and Jake make it look super easy, while the McBroom brothers make it super, super hard to watch. They think you could play boxing, that this is just a game, when those who truly know this is not a game. Boxing and mixed martial arts are one of the hardest sports on the planet Earth. Landon though, I will give him a little bit more credit because he is 2-0 but he's fighting UPS drivers and no one truly of note. But also, neither of the brothers have truly been vocal about what their dreams or aspirations have been when it comes to boxing. Jake and Logan Paul have goals when it comes to boxing. Jake wants to be a world champion. It is super clear as day though that the McBroom brothers do this for likes, clicks, and views. But that raises Catherine McBroom. Why Catherine McBroom? because it is clear she doesn't want Austin to fight anymore. She even dropped this video right here that she will leave Austin if he chooses to continue to box. Honestly, when your husband's that bad at boxing though, I'd understand too. I'd wanna leave as well because he's a horrible boxer. He's an absolute atrocious boxer and he insults boxing with the way that he fights. I just have to go through. And I don't wanna cry because I don't want people to f I don't even know what you guys are gonna say. I don't really care, honestly. I'm just, I just want to be me, and I just want to like share how I feel. So how I'm feeling is really sad right now because I'm not physically there, even though I'm like telepathically communicating with him at all times, and I feel like I'm there for him. I'm just, I just don't want to spend any more energy on this because it's just so hard. <laughs> like no one wants to see someone get in the ring. It's so terrible like i went to an event a couple weeks ago because he really wanted to go in vegas and i couldn't even watch that it was so hard to watch like <sighs> i don't like it i don't like this but like i get that you know like austin already won in life like he has healthy parents they're still alive they're still here he has kids that love him, that have unconditional love for him. He has a wife that adores him, that supports him through all seasons. He has good friends. He has a roof over his head. He has food. He has water that he needs. But yet this this thing is like his own personal, like his own personal thing for like his like, I don't even know. Like it's his own curiosity for his development. Like it's something that he has to go through. So, and I just have to obviously support him. It's karmic as This whole is so karmic, even for me, like, this is actually really good. The whole boxing thing is so karmic for me, like, what the fuck? <laughs> Like, how- humans are, like, low-key dumb. Like, what are we doing to ourselves? Like, this is so stupid. What is this even? Like, I get it's teaching me lessons, but damn, like, I feel like I've learned enough lessons in my life. Like, what the hell is this? Like, getting in a ring and fighting each other? Like, how stupid is that? Think about it. Like, so stupid <laughs> it's so dumb like what are we doing gosh like i get there's a science formula to it like okay it's like like i'm trying to see like the quantumness of it and like the sacred geometry of it but it's like austin has proved that he is horrible at boxing with his one lone win coming two years ago against bryce hall who was weak like seven days and his two losses came from anison big nose given which he got absolutely fucking hornswoggled in the first fight and in the second fight proclaimed that he had covid she's cried on so many occasions at how she will leave austin if he continues to fight how she's scared for his life like bro your own wife doesn't think you can make a living off of this sport you should truly just stop at this point and it's no secret, I want to fight both Austin and Landon McBroom. I'ma whoop your ass. And then I'ma whoop your ass. But in the end, it's happy wife, happy life. Austin has a nice family, and they want to see him live till tomorrow. We all know if I get him in the ring, he is not going to be leaving in the way that he came. He'll be leaving in two pieces. That man will be leaving on a stretcher. So I understand why Catherine wants him to quit. But it's also proven that she wears the pants in the relationship. As far as Austin's future goes in boxing, I don't think he really knows what he wants to do when it comes to boxing. It seems like he's focusing more on his brother's career than his own, which is right. I understand you want to be there for your brother. Your brother is actually good at the sport. I might want to fight him first, then you in the same night. But nonetheless, Catherine wears the pants in the relationship and he's basically quitting when it gets tough. Not only when it gets tough, he's quitting when his wife is telling him to quit rather than pulling a Tom Brady and saying, hey, I love this sport. I'm going to do it till the wheels fall off. And when the wheels fall off, I'm going to go out and walk. 
Austin clearly doesn't love this sport and his own family doesn't think he should do this sport because he's horrible at it. How I feel about the boxing. Like I've mentioned it before, I mentioned it last year. I get it, it's a sport, you know, like even I watch it, like I get entertained, but at the same time, like I don't want someone that I love in a ring. And I feel like at the end of the day, like anything can happen and it's just still dangerous, right? Like Catherine forced him to stop fighting. Catherine forced them to stop doing YouTube. So I understand why he's stopping and who knows if the fight between him and I will even take place because Catherine is in charge of Austin's life and Austin's personal life and just everything that involves the Ace family as a whole. I mean, that's what comes to expect with the Ace family. They scam people. Austin scammed a lot of people out of thinking that he had an actual career when it came to boxing. So it's just another scam on their part. J. Cole said it best. You've taken a lot of boxing lessons, but you're still a pussy.